In this example, we will look at how to calculate the voltage across a resistor using the concepts of superposition. Okay, here's a circuit with a current source, 1 amp, and a 10 volt voltage source. Our goal is to find the total current, or our goal is to figure out the total voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor. For that, we could use nodal analysis, we could use other technique, mesh analysis, but in this example, we will try our hand at superposition. Superposition concept basically says that the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor is equal to the individual drops caused by the individual sources. In other words, we will first try this example by setting the current source to zero and looking at the effect of the 10 volt source on the 5 ohm resistor. Then we will set the voltage source to zero and look at the effect of the 1 amp current source on this 5 ohm resistor calculate the voltage. The sub principle of superposition basically says that the voltage drop because of the 10 volts and the voltage drop because of the 1 amp combine together to form the total voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor. Okay, so let's get started. Step 1, we set the current source to 0. When a current source is set to 0, it basically means that that wire is open at that point. Okay. So here we have, we used to have a current source here, we've opened that and that wire is gone. So here's a circuit now. Now on this circuit we have the 10 volt source, a 2 ohm resistor. Now if you look carefully, this 2 ohm resistor is in series with this 5 ohm resistor. So let's replace that with a single 7 ohm resistor right here. So that's our combined 7 ohm resistor. If we look carefully again, this 7 ohm resistor is between nodes V3 and V2. So if you look at V3, that's on one side of 7 ohm, V2 is on the other side. Similarly, this 10 ohm resistor right here is in uh, between nodes V3 and V2. By resistors, when they're on, when a resistor has the same two nodes on two sides, those resistors are in parallel. In other words, the 7 ohm and the 10 ohm resistors are in parallel. So we get, using the resistor parallel formula, we get 7 times 10 divided by 7 plus 10. So we get a combined resistor of 70 over 17. Now we can find the voltage drop across this 70 by 17 ohm resistor using voltage divider. And let's use voltage divider and we get voltage 3 2 V3 2 equals this resistor 70 over 17 divided by 70 over 17 plus the 5 ohm resistor which is in C and the total voltage that's being divided is, is the 10 volts. So we get 4.516 volts between nodes 3 and node 2. So let's go back to our circuit where we started from. We have V3, V2. The voltage drop between this node has between 4.516. Now if we look carefully, the 2 ohm resistor and the 5 ohm resistor are also between V3 and V2. So in other words, the 2 ohm resistor and the 5 ohm resistor are going to divide the 4.516 volt proportionally between these two guys. So let's do voltage divider there. In order to figure out the voltage drop between these two nodes or across 5 ohm, we need basically write down voltage 1 to V12 equals 5 ohm divided by 5 plus the 2 ohm that's in series times the total V3 2. In other words, 4, 5 seventh of 4.516 volt, which is 3.2258 volt. Now this voltage right here is the total contribution of the 10 volt source on the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor. So we figured out what happens to the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor if the current source is not present. Okay. Now let's do the same thing. But this time, let's remove the voltage source and find the contribution of the current source. So here it is. Replacing a voltage source basically means setting the voltage source to zero. In other words, we replace a voltage source with a short. When we have this, now let's take a look at this very carefully. We basically have a 10 ohm resistor between node V3 and V2. 
A 5 ohm resistor is also between the nodes B2 and B3. Look at this, because this is a straight wire. This node is also V3. This is a 5 ohm resistor between V2 and V3. In other words, the 10 ohm and the 5 ohm resistor are in parallel with each other. So 10 times 5, 50, divided by 10 plus 5, 15. So this can be replaced with a single resistor between node 3 and 2 as follows. So 50 over 15. Okay. Now you look carefully. We have one amp coming into this node. We'll call this current I2 and that current I1. I1 travels through the 5 ohm resistor and the 50 over 15. In other words, 5 ohm and 50 over 15 are in series. I want to use voltage divider, or not a voltage divider, sorry. I want to use current divider as the current comes into this node. In order to do that, the current I1, since it travels to both 5 ohm and 50 or 15, let's combine them together into a single resistor. So 5 plus 50 over 15 gives me a total of 8.33 ohms. So here we have 8.33 ohms. Now, current 1 amp is coming in. It's going to divide proportionally between I2 and I1 based on the size of this resistor. And if we use a current divider formula, we get the current I1 is equal to 1 over this resistance right here, 8.33, divided by 1 over 8.33 plus 1 half, the 1 over 2, this resistor right here. So I1 is 1 over 8.33 divided by 1 over 8.33 plus 1 half times what is being divided is 1 amp. So we get a total of 0 0.1935 amps going through the 8.33 ohm resistor. Now if you remember carefully right here, and let me redraw that picture again. That I1 is equal to 0 0.1935. It's going through the 5 ohm resistor. So the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor can be calculated by I1 times 5 ohms, so I1 times 5 ohm, which leads me to 0 0.967 volts. Okay. So we figured out the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor, or this 5 ohm resistor, when the voltage source that was present here was removed. So we figured out the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor because of this 1 amp current. So now, so on this original circuit, we figured out that the voltage contribution from the voltage source is 3.2258 volts. The voltage contribution from the current source is 0 0.967 volts. So by superposition, the total voltage across this 5 ohm resistor is equal to 3.2258 plus 0 0.967. So that leads me to, by superposition, it leads me to 4.1935 volts, or in other words, 4.2 volts. Okay. That is the total voltage drop between plus V1 and V2, and that is 4.2 volts total. So that's the concept of superposition.